Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Scorpios Builder Blog. We are here in the Malice Shop. Malice's Wonderland, if you would. And I'm here with Bunny. And uh, so I've got a few questions for the fans. Sounds great. Apparently everyone on your team, almost everyone on your team is named David. Yes. We have David Rush. Yes. David Lau. Yes. David Small. Yes. David Copperfield. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and do you have plans for the next season to continue to add Davids to your team? We absolutely do. This year what? we're <laughs> <laughs> This year we're adding <laughs> This year we're adding uh, David Randolph as our 3D print specialist. He owns and runs printedsolid.com and it's a great opportunity for us. He's going to be our sponsor and he's going to do the 3D printed gears for our robot next year. So you heard it here first, there will be even more David next year. <laughs> So is this the malice we're going to be seeing in upcoming seasons? Uh, no, this is the malice from the previous season, and we're going to be updating uh, quite a bit. We're going to be switching out this motor right here for three uh, brushless motors. So this one is currently brushed, and it's great, and it works great, but it's um, not as powerful as we want. So we want something more powerful with more oomph. So we're switching to brushless motors. Reduce the size of this, we can get a lot more weight into the weapon. Right now this one's 60 pounds and our new weapon's going to be 80. Awesome. The Malice team has a lot of big upgrades planned for the next season, but they're not ready to unveil the final model of the new robot yet. They've actually been doing something quite clever. They've been making smaller robots in the 12 pound category and going to Narwhalk in order to compete with them to see how they function. They're getting data back from each one of these small robots and using that to determine what direction to take the new Malice design. You can see in here, the smaller version of the gear system they're trying to set up for their big robot. But let's take a closer look at their weapon test. There's going to be three motors driving the weapon. There's going to be th three gears like this one. This is from our sponsor, Printing Solid. He made this for us. These are ones we made in house, but they, they're not as good. So there's going to be one gear, another gear, and another gear, and they're all geared together. And then there's going to be a pulley from here well, yeah. to where the weapon's going to uh, be. Right. Radio's on. New Malice weapon motors. Powering up. What voltage are you running at? Um, 12S. 12S? Yeah, they're both 6S batteries. can't tell us because it's interlocked because this is not long enough because the rest seem okay. So, we added so everyone keeps talking about Malice's backside. Oh yes. It, it, it's quite the hot topic. It is, it is indeed. Um, it's got a hot booty in camp, but... It can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> it. And it's actually been the talk of uh, not enough junk in the trunk to help not the robot get back down. junk in the trunk, yep. So, we actually brought a few things we were going to recommend. You brought some junk for my we, trunk? We brought some junk for your trunk. Well, then let's get that junk on this trunk. <laughs> junk for the trunk. This is awkward. This did not go well. There. This is all you need. 
the Malice team has a stupid number of insect trophies battling in the 150 gram to three pound class. We decided to get some driving practice and challenged David and Bunny to a mini robot duel. We brought along eight of our robots. We're each gonna choose one and have a special bonus episode this Friday on the Scorpios Builder blog. So please like and subscribe and come back for a special Friday bonus this week. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs>